Richard Krauss. Now, like last year's Repo, the genetic opera, this weekend's Repo Men is set in a dystopian world where healthcare is a corporate game. Unlike the opera, which starred Paris Hilton and featured a noise rock soundtrack, this one stars Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker as two violent organ repossession agents who kill their clients to complete their jobs. That is, until one of them literally has a change of heart. Set in the near future in a city that looks very much like Toronto on steroids, Repo Men centers on two weapons-grade Repo Men, Remy and Jake, played by Law and Whitaker. They work for The Union, a multinational healthcare provider who sell artificial organs, everything from hearts and lungs to esophagi, to terminally ill people who are usually unable to pay in full. But that's just fine by the union because, according to their unctuous head salesman Frank, played by Liev Shriver, they don't make any money when people pay in full. Their motto of a job is a job regardless of the consequences takes a hit when Remy gets a new pumper, a new attitude, and falls behind in his payments. Now, originally titled The Repossession Mambo after a novel of the same name, I'm sure Repo Man was meant to be a timely comment on healthcare in a world where corporations place profit above human lives. It's a timely message and one that might have been explored a bit more in a better movie, or at least a movie that wasn't content to replace content with blood and guts. This film is either A, really gross, or B, marvelously bloody, depending on your point of view. There are several squirm-inducing repossession scenes involving open wounds and a shootout in an all-white room that leads up to a sequence that can only be called squirty is quite startling. All that brings us to a spectacularly yucky repossession climax and a cool twist or twisted ending. Law and Whitaker are Odd choices to headline an action movie despite some good moves. Whitaker is a martial artist and Law has clearly been visiting the gym. Neither feel like action stars on the screen. Liev Shriver, seen here as a heartless pencil pusher, might have been a better choice in the action department, but shines anyway as the slimiest salesman ever. Repo Man has a campy sense of humor to it, some wild action sequences, a cool-looking vision of the future, and an unforgettable final repossession slash sex scene, but ultimately fails because it can't make up its mind whether it wants to be a satire, a black comedy, or a serious look at the failings of healthcare. Richard Krauss.